Hello everybody, how are you all? <coughs> okay, so I come across an interesting article today in the Telegraph newspaper dated su Saturday the 27th of August 2011 and um, the headline reads Exploding star to be visible from Earth within a fortnight um, and then under that it says the most visible exploding star in a generation will be visible in skies above Britain within a fortnight. Oxford University astronomers have announced. Okay, so let's just talk about this. Now, do you remember the media um, statements recently? What, in the last sort of couple of months or so? I can't remember. But now that no doubt you'll remember that there was um, media coverage stating that the star Betelgeuse will supernova and that we will see a second sun in the sky but it's just the light from Betelgeuse having just got to us because obviously it's so far away and the light needs to travel and it takes a while to get to us so we're going to see it okay so when this was announced it said that this could happen sometime in the next year or two or sometime within a million years it was very vague so it stated it could be like soon like within a year or two or it could be like not in our lifetime not in our children's or our grandchildren's lifetime it could be like way in the future which isn't good enough is it i mean that's very vague you know okay so maybe they don't know the answer but now we've got an article today saying that within a fortnight, that's 14 days, we're going to see a star that will be visible to Earth, uh, sorry, visible from Earth. So, naturally, this has roused my curiosity and got my clogs going in my brain, because it brings up so many questions. Um, it seems to me as though the government, the media, right, that someone somewhere or some group of people somewhere, call them the Illuminati or whatever you want to call them, it's very difficult to pinpoint who we're talking about, but um, it seems as though they want to prepare us for something that's going to happen and give us a pre-explanation. Um, Right. Now, what we are expecting, according to the media, may not be the truth of what's going on in the skies, but if they want us to think, if they want us to interpret what we see in a particular way, then they're doing a good job of it. Okay? Because, um, you know, if we see a second sun in the sky, we're naturally going to put two and two together and think, well, hey, we expected this, we've been warned of this, this is a supernova. Now the name Betelgeuse isn't mentioned in this article. So they're talking about the same event? I'm not sure. I need a bit of help on this. Okay, so if anyone would like to comment and help me out on this, help me get my head around this, then fine. Okay, so tell me my questions. Now, I had a look on Google Sky, and I'll tell you why. Let me just get Google Sky up here. Um, Okay, they said that it's coming from the Great Bear constellation. Now I typed in, I think Great Bear is a nickname, and I think it's a, it's a different constellation, an official name of a constellation, which um, I'm not sure of. I haven't done that much research into this yet. I'm going to continue researching, and hopefully you guys will assist me in my research. Okay, so um, couldn't find anything on that. So then I typed in Pinwheel Galaxy, okay? And I found the pinwheel galaxy in Google Sky. And um, it exists at uh, 14 hours, 3 minutes, 11 seconds, or 54 degrees, um, 20, 34, 6.6. Okay, so then I thought, okay, well, uh, let me look at Comet Elinin that is coming out of the constellation Leo. Okay, so I, I found that, and that's in a different part of the sky. 
because I was thinking, okay, so are people going to see Comet Elinin? And Comet Elinin, let us not forget, has a coma. The last time I checked, it was 200,000 kilometers in diameter. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that Comet Elinin is going to pose a threat. Now, I've already said in a previous video that I personally do not believe, and I have reason to believe, that Comet Elinin is not a brown dwarf. I'm not saying that there isn't a brown dwarf out there somewhere making its way towards us. Possibly there is, I don't know. But I do not believe that Comet Elinin is a brown dwarf itself, and there's various reasons for that. And it's, it's the most controversial comet ever. Um, but anyway, let's not go down that road. So I'm thinking that Comet Elinin is more so a timeline, um, and I'm not alone in that. I've come across other people's research that's come to that conclusion. So yeah, Comet Elinin is a timeline. There's, um, I, I think it's, uh, I think that it is uh, something that is going to take the blame for some sinister events that are going to go on on some key dates. Um, and that's the way the Illuminati want it to be. Okay, so um, I was having a look then to see, you know, is this uh, pinwheel galaxy going to be in the same direction as Comet Linen? It looks to me as though it's not, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe someone can correct me on that. I don't know. But then I'm also thinking, okay, so if the Illuminati wants us to believe that Comet Linen is going to cause some mayhem, then surely... Um, coming up with some psyops to suggest that that any bright object is actually a, superno a supernova star that's working against them i don't know it's very strange because um you could also question well then why aren't why isn't there full disclosure as to the truth of the linen if they want us to believe it well i believe that um the, the you know because so many people distrust the media and the government that the only way that they could get the psyops out is through the um um, you know, alternative media because more and more people are looking to the alternative media. So maybe they're, you know, maybe this whole truth movement is, uh, you know, being uh, played by the Illuminati. There's so many angles to look at things. Uh, that's the problem. You see, sussing things out nowadays is just getting harder and harder because, um, you know, you can dissect something and look at it so many different angles and there's so many different possibilities. So. Um, it's, it's difficult to get to the bottom of all of this. We don't have long to wait, a few weeks, and um, you know everything that's going to happen will happen, and if nothing happens, great, and uh, it won't be, won't be long before we know. Um, so anyway, so I found this article very interesting. I don't trust it. I think that they're trying to take our attention away from something I think that I think they're expecting something big in the sky you see the article itself is rather contradictory um, because the title of the article is a little bit misleading because it gives the impression that you know we're gonna see something big in the sky and then you read the article you get into it and it turns out we're talking about seeing it through a pair of binoculars which is pretty impressive to see a star go supernova through a pair of binoculars. That is pretty um, unprecedented, as it, as it does say in the article. Okay, but I am of the belief that the real, the real um, psychological warfare exists in the headline. Because how many people see a headline? Everybody. How many people actually read the article beneath the headline? Not as many people. So it's the, it's the headline that will really get the word out, I think. Even people that don't consciously be aware of reading it, anyone who picks up a paper, you only have to glance at it, is psychologically prepared for, uh, for something in the skies. So tell me what your thoughts are. Um, tell me, do you think this is a cover up for a linen? I mean, let's 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 not forget, a linen isn't. There's no cover up with a linen. A linen is common knowledge. It's um, it's not a secret. You know, a linen exists. The, the controversy is what effects will a linen have? Well, if a linen is a comet, then nothing. We know that for a fact. If they're not being truthful about a linen, then that's a different matter, and we don't know what 
what's going to happen. Okay, so just want to draw your attention to that article, get some help. Okay.